right, all right, all right, all right. Good night, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, fabulites. I got some questions for you. What opens with a fabulous, oh my gosh, uh, scene or quick shot of Lady May still in her black with white accents and all of the people moving around her in their black and white and they're sped up in sped up motion? Hmm? And it closes with, um, is Pastor Triumph too, Jacob, the only son of Greenleaf, replaced by Lawyer Aaron? Pastor Jacob, y'all know who he is? He the only son, Pastor Jacob Greenleaf. He over at Triumph too. Um, and what is the solution, Gigi? That's the closing scenes. Um, if you guessed Greenleaf Season 2, Episode 4, and you'd like to stick around for my review, you're correct, you're right, you're in the right place at the right time, and you're the right person, please like, comment, and subscribe, and let's jump right into it. Um, I thought it was a beautiful episode. Um, I guess just overall, I thought, you know, Mary Mary was in it, a little child got, one of the family children got baptized, um, you know, I thought there were some really, um, you know, I thought it was an interesting piece culturally, um, you know, just b black Christian culture, I, I, just revival, you know, revitalization, restart, revive, regroup, re-get it together, so... Um, so the re revival excitement is all over the air in the um, Greenleaf Mansion. Um, so, you know, there's a whole bunch of little scenes with that going on. And then we see baby sis Charity and her questioning hubby Kevin. He wants to know when they're going to start sexing again. And um, Miss Charity is like, well, uh, tonight. Um, that's what she says, but she's looking a little somehow. And when tonight comes, she's like, uh... Okay, and then we see um, Jacob on a Triumph billboard, um, a visiting old friend, new widower, Pastor Lionel is shocked. Is that is that your son on that billboard? And Pastor Bishop Daddy is is like real casual and low key about it. He like yeah. Um, so this Lionel guy is visiting, and that's his friend. He, um, Pastor Daddy was so excited to go pick him up at the airport because he's his friend. And when they get to the house, the party is in full swing, and we can see Lady May and um, Pastor Lionel look at each other, and they don't really look happy to see each other. And we find out that they have a history. Um, Sophia learns about and then later watches a girl group video of Mystique, and Mystique is Faith. Grace and Charity, that's the three sisters, and then her mother's friend, Reverend Rebecca, who's there for revival. Um, so she, you know, watches the video, hears about the group. Later on, she watches the video, but now she just hears about the group, um, and she thinks they're good. They're cute. I saw it on YouTube before I saw the episode, so I was kind of like, huh, what is it? I didn't quite get it, um, but it was cute enough, I guess, to me. Um, Reverend James Bishop Daddy's hands are shaky and his guests can see it. Um, he says that he didn't take his meds because he didn't like how they made him feel. He did get them, you know, re up and fixed, but he just felt like he wanted to be at his best for that day. Um, but he will take them in the future. He doesn't want to embarrass Lady May. And Lady May is like, well, you're embarrassing yourself with your foolishness and not taking care of your health, Mr. Pastor Daddy Bishop Man. Um, so... Yeah, his the handshaking is is kind of um, you know, we really I think it does a good job of kind of um, representing the frailty of humanity, even as we, you know, fighting and and living and you know doing all the things we doing. It's just so delicate. Life is. Um, um, so we learn Pastor Lionel, who's the visiting um, minister, he's a new widower, has a son in Nashville who's a zoning lawyer, and they're going to have him come um, so that he can stop or slow down the progress of so-called Daryl James' son's um, Basie Skanks um, church right across the street from Calvary. So they're going to try to stop Triumph too church. Um, in church, we see, we're at the revival officiale, not just at the kickoff party. And um, it's, it's, it's Charity's 
questioning hubby Kevin, seeing chemistry between Jabari and Charity. And then later on, he confronts. That's what I thought was going on. And then later on, he confronts Charity about it later on that night. And he apologizes to her the next morning. Because she's like, oh, no. Because I don't think even if there is some chemistry, I don't know if she's necessarily noticed it per se. Or if she would ever even entertain that. Because she's, I don't, I just don't think she's really... You know, that's just not where her head is or her his consciousness is. Um, but in bed the next night, questioning Kev, try sex again. Um, she does want to, um, but she doesn't. She says she wants to want to, but she just doesn't. It's not natural. And she can't pretend that, you know, we're something that we're not. It's over. Our marriage is, is over. Um, so that's... That's where they are. Um, we see Gigi stalking Uncle Molester Mac at his apartment again. Mac is coming out um, w from his place with a woman. They're talking about dinner. Did you enjoy that? So I'm guessing that they ha that he prepared dinner for her. Um, he walks her out to the car. She gets in the car. She's about to pull off. He's basically gone back into the apartment. And Gigi gets out of her car and bangs on the one or knocks or whatever, approaches the woman's car window and says, you know, that, you know, she tries to shout out uh, Molester Max molestation and shut down the relationship. And um, um, Uncle Molester Matt comes out and he's basically like, what kind of Christian are you? I'm trying to get my life together. I'm trying to move on and do the right thing. Um, so Gigi looks like, uh, you know, what's the right thing to do in this situation? Um, we see Gigi and her girlfriend, Pastor Rebecca, reminiscing, um, you know, which they've been doing the whole episode. But um, Pastor Rebecca is talking about the effect of Gigi's preaching gift. And, you know, why aren't you preaching, Gigi? And Gigi says, you know, I'm not feeling called to it lately. And, you know, Daddy's got it. And um, her friend Rebecca, Pastor Rebecca, says, you're just not feeling it because you definitely have a calling, basically. And then the, the administrative assistant comes in and she whispers, but loud enough enough for Rebecca to hear that the cops are there um, and the cops are there because you know Uncle Mac has has been complaining he's not pressing charges because Gigi asked is he pressing charges and they say no he's not pressing charges but he's been complaining you know and he said well did he mention that you know he molested all these girls and raped all these girls and they, you know the black male cop is like we ain't here for these girls and he said you stay off his street you know um, so, I mean, it is kind of stalkerish behaviors. It's an interesting, I think it's an interesting question. Like, you know, how far should she go? Should he be able to live? Because in general, my understanding is that people, like if someone is hardwired, which you are, if you're a child molester, if you're an adult who is attracted to, you know, 13 year old girls or 12 year old girls or whatever, your, your sexuality is hardwired in that way. And it's not something that you can be rehabilitated from. So, I mean, in the same way that I guess if someone is gay, you know, are they hardwired to be gay? Can they be, re you know, like, so, you know, yeah. Um, should she just let him be out here on these streets um, doing what he gonna do because his nature is to molest is to have relations with children and to groom children to have relations with him so um, you know what where does her what, what where does her responsibility end to stop the the madness um, so anyway we see Lady May confronting Pastor Lionel. He's in a church conference room. And she says, why are you bringing Aaron here? Aaron is his son who's a lawyer. Is it Lady May's son? You know, what's 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 the story here? Um, are you sure? You are trying to prove to me that I should have run off with you when I had the chance. The whole thing was a big mistake. I know that. And he said, I'm not trying to get you upset because, look, he reached to touch her shoulder. And she's like, no, no, no. And he's like, I'm not trying to get you upset. Look, me and Aaron, we're going to do our thing and then we're going to be out your way. So um, we see the only time that we see um, Pastor Jacob, you know, the this Greenleaf son, the only son, the one over at Triumph, too, is he's watching the Calgary 
Calgary, is that how you pronounce it? The Calgary Revival. And his wife comes in. He's like, I don't even know why I'm watching this. And she's like, I don't know either. And she closes the laptop. That's the only time we see him. Um, we see lawyer Aaron outlining a plan um, to his dad visiting Pastor Lionel, to Lady May, and to Bishop Pastor Daddy to stop construction of Triumph 2. And, you know, it's kind of like, should we do it? Should we not do it? And Lady May is like, let's do it. Um, Gigi's daughter Sophia gets baptized and then I think I didn't write it down but I think that the last scene is basically um or the last not the last scene but the next scene that I didn't you know put in my notes is um Pastor Lionel is about to leave and um you know his son is Aaron is leaving with him or about to leave and um Aaron you know oh well Aaron has an idea well what's your idea Lady May says you always got these ideas Aaron and then Aaron says well I could take care of my clients in Nashville remotely I'll just stay here and help y'all with this and then I'll take care of my clients just you know over the phone over the internet you know I don't have to be there but I'll be here for y'all and her husband Bishop Pastor Daddy is like oh that's a great idea you know Jacob's room is empty and what do you think Lady May and Lady May is like oh sure but you know she'd be making all those undercover faces she oh sure but you know we can see the wheels turning inside at least I can can you see him? Um, that she's kind of, you know, feeling a way about it. And I'm, I'm not really quite sure what the story is. But, um, you know, we see um, Gigi get baptized. Um, and I think that that's basically it for that episode of Green Light Leaf. How'd you like it? What'd you think? Did you miss this episode? Are you using this to catch up? That's what I used to do. Or that's what I do when I can't watch something. I'll listen to the reviews so I at least know what's going on. It's like having my friend give me the update of what went on. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. And thank you, Fabulous One, for being Fabulous You. Bye-bye.